Hi, this is Seb. I've been working on my uh, methane distillery and it, I want to design the best possible methane distillery. And so this has forced me to think seriously about gas thermodynamics in oxygen not included because methane distilleries typically have a channel of uh, sour gas tiles being cooled into methane and then the methane being warmed back up in a heat exchange and these are all gases that are just sitting in tiles uh, diffusing and in order to design the best methane distillery you need or I feel like I want to simulate this uh, procedure on, on a MATLAB program so that I can optimize the placement of my various components. So um, I've been looking at how gas diffuses with little two tile rate two tile arrangements here. Now let me just do one experiment so that you can see. So first I have this tile here which is 60 kilogram and 150 degree Kelvin which I'm gonna brush here and I have another tile which is gonna be 100 kilogram and 300 degree Kelvin let's remove the food poisoning so now I've set it up 60 kilogram, uh, what was it, uh, whatever the Kelvin was, and 100 kilogram here. And now at single speed, I pause on pause until I get a single tick. So are you ready? There we go. That's one tick. So the mass has gone up by 4 kilogram and the temperature has changed however it has. And so same thing here. And I repeated this for many different. Uh, weights and temperatures and I've tabulated this in, an, uh, in a spreadsheet. Now I realize that looking at spreadsheet is not exactly a high form of entertainment but just bear with me for a second. So I think this is the example that we just looked at. So the mass in cell 1 or tile 1 was 60 kilogram and after one tick it goes to 64 and the other cell was 100 kilogram and after one tick it goes down to 96. And the temperature in Kelvin was 150 in one tile and 300 300 Kelvin in the other tile and the, the tile that was at 300 stayed at 300 and the other one warmed up a little bit to 159.3. So I did this a lot of times and I think I figured it out. What happened is the mass exchange uh, here, uh, so it gains 4 kilogram in tile 1 and it loses 4 kilogram in tile 2 and 4 kilogram is 10% of the difference, 40 kilogram. And so I think that the logic of the developers is that the 100 kilogram tile donates 4 kilogram to the 60 kilogram tile. And this explains what the heat is doing. The 100 kilogram tile, since it simply donates some of its uh, mass, doesn't receive anything, the heat doesn't change. And the uh, 60 kilogram tile, since it receives 4 kilogram, it gets a new heat which is obtained by blending the previously existing 60 kilogram. Uh, which was at 150 and along with the four new kilograms which is at 300 and you get a new temperature which is blended in the obvious way which is actually 159.375 is the exact temperature which is displayed as 159.3 in the game so I suspect that there's some display uh, truncation uh, when it displays and I've done a bunch more experiments so this was 80 to 82, 100 to 98 250 to 251.2, 300 to 299.9. All of these experiments, this one as well, uh, go exactly with the theory that is that whichever is the heaviest tile donates some of its mass to the lighter tile. And the heaviest tile does not change temperature. And the lighter tile does change temperature. Um, and so this is important because he, in this case it was the hotter tile that did not change temperature and in this case it is the colder tile that does not change temperature so it definitely has to do not with the temperature but with the mass. If the massive, more massive tile uh, donates its mass and also donates some of its temperature. Um, I'm a mathematician in real life I do a lot of numerical analysis and this is a simulation of what's called a diffusion process and I was trying to think about whether or not this is correct. Uh, so I think more logically from my point of view is that the 100 kilogram tile donates 10% of its mass, so that's 10 kilograms, and the 60 kilogram tile donates 10% of its mass, which is 6 kilograms. 
which ends up being the same for the masses, but it wouldn't end up being the same for the temperatures because it would mean that this uh, 100 kilogram tile would receive a little bit of, so this 100 kilogram tile is at 200 degrees, and it, right now it receives nothing, it's still at 200 degrees because it receives no mass from, from the other tile. But if you use my logic, which is that it would receive six kilograms of the heavier of the of the of the lighter tile, well, that's six kilograms at 500 degrees, so it would increase a little bit the temperature of this heavier tile. Uh, we can see in the game how this affects the game because here I've set it up. Let's let's see. Uh, let's get some of this uh, sample. Uh, this one brush here and sample that one brush there. So now we have two tiles that are almost the same density, 100 kilograms and 99 kilograms, but vastly different temperatures. Uh, what, I think they're like uh, 300 degree Kelvin and 200 degree Kelvin. So, so vastly different temperatures, but almost the same mass. And this means that in the logic of the game, this heavier tile is going to donate uh, uh, 10 percent of the difference, so that's 10 percent of one kilogram difference, so that's a hundred grams. And then um, the heavier tile is not going to change temperature and the lighter tile is going to change temperature, but it's just receiving a, a hundred grams of this stuff that's a little bit hotter. So the temperature change is going to be extremely slow. So let, let's just, I'm going to unpause it. Okay, three, two, one. So we see that the mass increases a little bit to 99.4, and now this one is at 99.5, and now the mass exchange is very, 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 very slow, which means that the heat exchange is very, very, very slow in the logic of the game, because now it's exchanging, the difference is 100 grams, it's exchanging 10 grams of, it's from the heavier tile, this one, to the lighter tile, and there's almost no heat that's being carried by this 10 gram of sour gas what it should be doing is it should be doing sending about about one kilogram from here and about one kilogram from there, which would cancel the masses but not the temperatures. And the temperatures should be exchanging much faster than this. Nevertheless, this is interesting because it allows us to see that there's another process for exchanging heat apart from H exchanging mass. So when the masses are almost the same or exactly the same, the heat is still changing but it's very, very slow. It's perhaps a hundred times slower than with mass exchange. I'm not exactly sure I didn't quantify it. So this is, this. I, I believe this is the same heat diffusion process that you would have from a solid tile to a solid tile because in solid tiles you don't have any mass exchange, you just have diffusion of the heat from one tile to the other. And I think it's what we're observing here, but from for my purpose at least, um, this procedure is so incredibly slow that it is completely dominated, I believe, by the mass exchange that occurs um, in a methane boiler, because in a methane boiler you have steep pressure gradients. Um, so so this, this diffusion of heat that we're looking at right now, which is very slow, 71 degrees, you see still 71, oh, 70.9. I mean, it's very, very slow. It's going to take cycles, like tens of cycles, before it reaches uh, thermal equilibrium. This is incorrect, really, because because these tiles are exchanging, logically, they're exchanging 10 kilograms uh, each tick of gas, so that the heat should, should reach uh, equilibrium, like super fast, but it doesn't do that. Anyway, 